What's up, everybody? Well, got a little bit different video for you guys today. I had a request, well, two requests, and figured I'd do both of them in one video because it seems they'd be pretty easy to do. The first was someone was interested at how loud the thing was in its various profiles here. So I figured I'd go from Windows all the way to manual and see how loud it is by just putting my camera in front of the thing and playing the game while shutting up and turning the volume for the game way down. So basically all you can hear is the is the fans and whatnot. And I'll just sit there and shut up for like a minute or so. Then we'll hop into the game and get some screen record gameplay as somebody wanted to see the hotspot temperatures for gaming. So for that one, I'll just have, uh, what do you call it, MSI Afterburner up there. I added GPU2 or the GPU thing up there like he told me to. So it should now also give us uh, hotspot temps in the menu. But I'm also going to leave hardware uh, monitor running in the background. Uh, so we'll have a quick look with some screen recorded, uh, which we call screen uh, desktop recording of that window when we're all done, because that'll give us even more, you know, the average, the minimum, and the maximum. Well, without any further ado, why don't we hop on into Forza and get started. All right, a quick explanation of what's going on here. We're just going to run through all of the different armory crate settings here and get fan noise and GPU hotspots for each of them. So, we're going to start with Windows first, so why don't we go ahead and hop into some Forza 5. Here are the settings we're going to be running at for our little tests here. We're going to be doing 1440p. Not using FSR or anything like that. I'm trying to get the GPU to heat up as much as possible in this game, so. Now let's go look at the graphics. I just did the preset for Ultra. But all right, now let's go hop on into the game and see how it does with sound and with hotspot. Well, all right, we're in the game and we're gonna do a little sound test here for how loud the thing is. So my basic plan is at the start of each of the little settings for Armory Crate or on Windows right now, I'm just gonna turn this on for like a minute or so and I have the volume turned down super low. So all you should be able to hear is the laptop I've got everything in the room turned off, no TV running. The only thing running is my ceiling fan, which is not loud, it doesn't make any noise whatsoever. So all you'll hear is the laptop and possibly my freaking controller vibrating because it vibrates so loud. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up and let's get a little footage of how loud it is on Windows mode. All right, this is Windows mode so, uh, for Armory Crate, so let's just drive around for a little teeny Don't bit here and just see what kind of temperatures we get up to for our hot spots and whatnot. Uh-oh, oh, went too fast, fuck. But yeah. Apparently Windows mode doesn't like to crank the fans up or something because that GPU is getting up to 90 and it is throttling like crazy. It never usually gets up into the 90s. But to be honest, I haven't played too many games in any of the other settings, so I guess I don't really know much of what they do. I'm almost always in manual mode. Oh shit. That was close. I almost bashed my ass in and that mountain. Started with this guy, Prince Alfonso de Hornwolf. Hornwolf. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm pronouncing that name. Anyway, our guy, the prince, entered seven Volkswagens from 1965 Pan American. None of them finished first because, you know. All right, though. I think that's plenty. Why don't we go ahead and move on to the next sound test? All right, we're on silent mode now. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. We're just get like a minute or so of footage of me not talking or nothing for the camera here. And then we'll go and get some footage for the guy who wants to see the hotspot tent. So I'm going to now be quiet. This is now silent mode. So let's see how it does. Now this one I would totally understand with it getting high temps like 91 on the GPU and whatnot. Even even honestly, the CPU isn't even doing what it's supposed to do. Normally it stays at uh, 3250 because I have turbo turned off, but it seems like it's still bouncing all over the place. It's almost like the freaking armory crate settings aren't even sticking. If it weren't for the fan changing speeds, I would think it wasn't. But maybe it's only doing fans? Who knows? If that's the case, then I'll just have to redo this whole video. But I'm gonna get all the way to the end and see if it kinda just stays like this the whole fucking time. Catch my breath here. You know, I've got an idea. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, Anyway, why don't we go ahead and Absolutely. do the next noise the test. test. Alright, now we've got it on performance mode, so I'm going to start this race, be quiet, and then we'll get our noise sample for the guy, and then I'll change over to screen recording, and we'll get the hotspot temperature for the other guy. We'll just get them for all the various, whatchamacallits, uh, settings in Armory Crate. So, I'm going to start the race and be quiet now. Now for a little performance mode. Must get around the muscle car. That muscle car is putting up a much better fight than I would have thought in the corners. Go ZR1 go. But yeah, we're still getting like 91C and 100C on the hot spot. The CPU is at least changing around with its megahertz now, so. I don't know if there's some glitch or something, because I'm just like alt-tabbing out and 
I'll tab him back in. But the GPU sure doesn't seem to be changing much. I feel like it's like, even though the fan is spinning, it's not cooling down for whatever reason. That's really weird. Or unless it's like the GPU fan ain't spinning up, but the CPU one is, and that's why it keeps getting louder and why the CPU keeps on having uh, clock fluctuations now, whatever. Because obviously that's different than it was before. Anyway, though, we still got a couple more to go through. Wow, that thing handles really fucking good. Holy shit. All right, let's move on to the next noise test. All right, now we're going to get some gameplay with uh, turbo mode. So I'm going to unpause here and be quiet, and then we'll see how it sounds. Now for some turbo mode. And yeah, that uh, GPU is still like getting really fucking hot. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Obviously the CPU is working because now we're getting up to four gigahertz at times when we weren't before on performance, so. All right, K-Trump, I get you're better at cornering than me, but you're not better at top speed. Not like this is a top speed car with all of its downforce either, but it's still faster than that thing in a straight line. Now, can I catch up to this other fucking thing, though? That's the question. That thing handles like crazy. Even if I do pass him up here, he'll probably just pass me right back. Oh, especially if you smash into a fence and slow down, then he'll definitely pass you. Whatever, I can run him down again. Again, that thing's really good at handling, but it doesn't seem to be the most impressive top speed car in the world. Anyway, let's move on to the next noise test now. All right, now to get my manual settings, a little gameplay here, and get some sound tests. So I'm just gonna, again, be quiet, drive around for a little bit here, and then we will change over to screen recording and get the other guy what he wants, the hotspot temperature. So I'm gonna shut up right now and get to driving.
last up, let's get ourselves a little manual mode now for hotspot and all that. That one seems to have worked. I kind of forgot to uh, record during the race and kind of just finished the race and was about ready to stop. And I was like, oh yeah, there's still one more to do. So at least this is working. Sound cut out for a second. That was a little weird. I don't know if that happened in the recording or just on my headphones, but that was strange. But we're staying at about 87 for the one temp and still around 100, 101 for a hot spot, it seems like. Alright though, this looks like a good spot to stop. And now we can go ahead and wrap this video up. Well, before wrapping the video up, I figured we'd go through hardware info real quick just to look at everything real fast. So, our CPU got up to 96 tops and averaged at 86 throughout the whole ordeal. Here's all of our drive temps and whatnot. They didn't get too awful hot at all. All right, now, our GPU got all the way up to 92 at one point. Memory got up to 94, and then our hotspot got up to 103, I guess, and averaged at 85 throughout the whole thing. GPU fan never gets read by this thing, so it says zero the whole time, but I assure you it's working. And then the battery's got 6.4% wear just for fun. That's not too bad. Anyway, now let's go wrap the video up. Well, all right, guys. That's about it for this video, and hopefully I pleased both people with it. We did noise test, and we did hot spot temp test. And pretty soon here, I'm gonna open this thing up and probably do a nylon washer mod and all that shit, and maybe cut some, or drill some little air holes in the bottom of the uh, bottom casing so it can breathe a little better. I've always thought they made them way too fucking small. It can barely breathe. Hell, it'd probably do good just by doing that first just drilling some damn holes in the bottom or filing some holes, whatever. I'll probably have to wait and see what I feel like doing. And then putting some new liquid metal in my way because I have a feeling they just probably either put too little or too much. This is one of those ones where you kind of have to have the perfect amount and most importantly, perfect mounting pressure. You have to kind of bridge the gap between the two little whatchamacallits, little rivers of liquid metal. You put a little on the die, you put a little on the heat sink, and then you tighten them down, and then the two should combine into one. That's what should happen. Or you can do what I do and just put an abundant amount on the die, and then just lower the thing on. That's how I did all my CPU uh, delitting and relitting and liquid metal things. So, and all of those have done good, and all are still doing great to this day. My friend's 7700K and my other friend's 8700K are both doing great. Liquid metal hasn't dried out, still getting the same temps they did the day I did it, and those are quite old CPUs by today's standards. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. It's about time for me to end this video so I can get to editing this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until the next one, peace out, guys.